Pac-Man611 here, and welcome back to another plain tutorial. I know that uh, these have been the ones that I've been focusing on recently, but uh, I've been having some fun with it. And uh, I will be posting this hopefully overnight on the, what is the February 22nd. It's like 11.30, so uh, that I'm recording this, and uh, should be posted tonight, and tomorrow should be posted a balloon truck video, but, um, I had some pretty fun designing this World War I Gotha 4 or 5 bomber, it's, I'm not sure which one to call it, because, uh, the pictures that showed up weren't always the, uh, same, they were kind of the same for both, I'm gonna grab these buttons real quick, now, I want to tell you guys that I will be going kind of off this design here, uh, from, like, looking at it, so, if I do kind of go over and check up on it, because I didn't practice it, because I don't have the time at the moment, but I do want to get this video out. Um, and I know this is a little uh, un inaccurate because of the bottom I did here, because uh, the Gotha has a flat bottom, but I wanted to add this so that I could add the machine gun that is in the back and the bottom of the craft in real life, which is uh, right here because, yeah, that's, they have, a uh, what is it, two, four, five machine guns. Uh, on the real ones, they have a double in the front, a double right here, and one in the back that comes out the bottom. Now, I had the one that comes out the bottom, I had the double on the back, but the double on the front just looks stupid since it is three wide, and, I uh, just, it didn't look right, uh, and the double on the back still looks kind of funny, but... Uh, I think it looks kind of cool, too. And you can fire it, because I did it with dispensers. You can also do it a different way without dispensers, but... I like dispensers. You all know that. I have the German signs here, and on the wings, I have the flaps. Um, the supports on the wings, and the bomb bay, which uh, all you have to do is... See, I think I have it... Might be a, no, it's the only one. Where's it at? I added like a chest. I think it's in my other world that I'm designing. Oh no, it's right here. There's a dropper, and you manually load each piece of TNT into your dispensers, right? And then you flick your lever, and it drops them. Uh, when you have it in the air, it drops them down and to explode. I thought that was kind of uh, neat, because I wanted it to be slightly functional, you know, how I like that. So, yeah, that uh, is the Gotha 5 bomber, and I think it looks pretty sweet. I think I did pretty good on it. I got the uh, double blade for the, uh, or I guess it's one blade, or I don't know how you want to call that. I'm not sure. I'm not an aviator, but um, for the engines, which are located here and here and when it's up in the air if you want to act like it's running you can put four in there to act like it's spinning uh, but while it's on the ground I like to just do the two because that's how many it has and it looks like it's just rusting right alright so uh, let's get on with the tutorial now this is a very very big build so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build it behind this so I can look off it from behind and you're going to need some serious room for this vehicle. So actually, I'm going to move this back a bit, but your wheels are going to be one apart from each other, but that is just one set of wheels. They go right under the engines, uh, which are right there and there. You can kind of see, but they are seven blocks apart from each other. So you have a set of two, and then you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to recount just to make sure with another block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we're good. And you can place buttons on the sides of those. And I'm gonna grab the iron bars in the front. Expect a lot of cuts in this video, guys. Like I said, I did not practice this build. Uh, <laughs> so, expect a lot of cuts. So, there's your wheels, and we'll get on to the next layer. Click on these wheels, you're gonna place slabs like this, 
a block like this and a upside down stair. Same for the other ones. There you are. Let's see if I can remember this correctly. We're gonna place blocks like so. And then one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Then we're gonna come out one on either side for the start of the wings and the connecting points for the uh, middle of the craft. And then on the tops, we're going to do a up two and up one, like so, with stairs all around, like this, that looks sort of right. Just got it. Uh, so these three stairs break this. And we're going to take stone slabs and run them like so. And you pretty much have your engines. Now later on we're going to add some cobblestone walls, but like I said that'll be later on. So let's go ahead and do this to the next batch here. So we're going to bring this up two and bring this up one. And then we're going to do stair here, stair here, stair here, and slab here, like that. So you should have something that looks like that. Why this was looking so wrong to me, break that block. So you should have three, uh, two blocks sticking out from these three blocks here. So that should be your little engine pods. On these engine pods a little bit more, we're going to extend this once, we're going to place stairs here and here, and then we are going to do the propellers on the back with coal block here, and buttons on the coal blocks with the dark oak stairs, like so. There we are. There's one. And two. There you are. There's your propellers. And it is looking pretty good. Also, we're going to go ahead and do most of the wings. So this should come out ten. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll just bring that all the way back to here. And we'll do the other side the same way. So, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Make sure it's counting right. And bring that back. And so now you kind of see it's starting to get a little more filled out. Now to start with the big part, uh, the middle section. We're going to, this is going to come in, obviously. And we're going to bring it up one. And this comes out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we're going to bring that all up. And then it goes into a point, like so. And when we get the whole thing uh, done, we'll put the bottom on it. I'm going to add a little bit to the design. If you choose to do so, you can place some stairs right here for the effect uh, of both of that. And then this comes back 8 without any interruption. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Two, uh, okay, we'll just bring it back, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, we're good. And we'll bring that all the way back. And up here, of course, we can do the... This pretty much comes out like that. And this. That's pretty much good. For the like gunners, we'll add all that later. We want two cobblestone walls here and here also. So it's starting to look pretty nice. All right. Uh, so now we're going to break these two blocks, and we're going to come back one, two, three, four, five, and this should come up like that, somewhere around there, and this will be like so and this kind of comes back right and this comes out one two three and then one two 
like so. And uh, this kind of comes up and up a bit more like that. And you can just kind of fill that in. So upstairs like that. Nope. That with stuff like that and that. And we can just do that. Should be good. Looking good. And we can do slabs like so. And we're gonna do slabs on the side here. And on the front here until you get to the wing section at which you stop. And uh, well, not one on the front, also. Should be good. I think we can fill in that too. Oh, and two cobblestone walls right there. Now, for a little bit of a simpler part, we're just going to mirror up uh, four blocks. So, one, two, three. And we're going to mirror these wings just up. Uh, like, I guess it's up four, but there's a three gap space. So we're just gonna mirror these wings all the way across. Until we get to the end of the other side. Fairly, fairly simple. And make sure you have your cobblestone walls out. And just a few more. Alright, so there you are. And we're going to do a quick one of those real quick on each wing piece. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. And that should be the little uh, winglets on the side. We got the wings all measured out like that, and we're just going to do what we've done here with the columns of uh, custom walls. So, build up three here, two blocks, three here, and there, two blocks, gap, and three again, two, two blocks, right, and then gap. I was doing that wrong. It's actually a three block gap. So, sorry about that. So, one, two, three, and then we get our columns. So, one, two, three, and then there. And then we get two right there. So, same thing here. We'll do start back here again. So there we are. And this kind of does the structure for the wing. Obviously. Looking looking much, much, much better. And much more like uh, the finished product. So on to the next part. Right, so you're going to take your stone brick slabs and place them to that column on each of these bottom sides. And then on the top, you're going to do the same thing, except you're going to go one past that. There you are. Uh, so that's looking good. And then we're going to do the German logo right here. So get your white uh, stain clay. Obviously, I am using uh, a texture pack called uh, Color Corrected Clay, which makes the clay look like it's color it's supposed to be. Obviously, you can use like the, whatever the gray clay is in regular. I think it's cyan. Uh, and when the new snapshot, or the new snapshot is out, you can use the concrete uh, colors, which are really nice, and I will be using that when 1.12 actually is released so that uh, I can use it as an official release. But uh, for now, I'm still using this clay. Uh, you can use the concrete if you want, if you don't want to mess with texture packs. So, 
Uh, there's one German sign, and then we're gonna do one over here. And black, right, like this. That's not right. <laughs> and we're gonna do them on the bottom too. So, very uh, simple kind of tutorial, but it is a bit complicated in the ways how big it is. It is a pretty big plane. Biggest one I've done yet. I haven't done that many planes, though. So, I hope you guys do actually enjoy this, because it did take a while to design, and I am recording this at like 12.30 at night. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, there's those uh, German signs, and what we're going to go ahead and do is grab a dispenser and a dark oak fence gate. Put that away, and we're just going to put this dispenser with the fence gate on the front, and I believe they want a lever, and a stair right here. I'm not sure what goes there quite yet. <laughs> And then back here we're going to have another gun, and another gun obviously down there again. Uh, so actually, that's the next thing we're going to do. We're going to do the bottom, which is stairs like so. Okay, and then we can fill that in. And it comes to about right there. And then we do stairs upside down, back, until we get to about there. And there we are. There's that bottom. That was fairly simple and straightforward. So, uh, I want to do this section next, and obviously the next uh, parts of the guns. Right, this section first, since it is fairly simple. It's just cobblestone walls, like so, if I can get in there, and there we are, and then we want dispensers here as storage, and here, and here as the bomb base. So there we are, I'm gonna get grass out, fill that back in. And then we want a lever here, a lever here for like the driver's stick. Obviously the gunner's up here. And redstone like that. And there's your TNT storage. And that is pretty much it for that little uh, section. Right, so now for this little section. Actually, I need to grab this uh, gray clay. And I want you to place dark gray or regular gray here and here and here we're going to do the next gun which is simply going to be a uh, cobblestone wall here with gray clay at ah, cobblestone wall I guess it's two gray clay here button like that with dispensers facing this way a stoneberg slab there and fence gates like that, and that's your double turret with levers on the back if you want, and maybe a button just for decoration, and there's your little double turret, and then if you come, one, two, one, two, is it three, come down here, and I think this is where we're going to make our next little gun, uh, it's simply going to be like that, I guess we that and this is where the little back gun goes you just place a lever on that and basically you can do let's see do I have no. trap door and we need ladders okay so ladders there and there trap door like that Let me get no. Okay, great, fine. 
uh, chuck out like that, and then obviously you can fire your gun, which is great. Uh, so now you pretty much have most of it done. I think the only thing left, if you want to do a little bit of decoration, just place that there. Obviously, if you want to make uh, it flying, you just put the same stair design on these sides too. Uh, there's, I know there's one more thing I want to do, but I'm just checking over to make sure I've done everything else. Let me just check. Okay, I see one thing I missed. And we're also going to cover one more thing. So, get your crafting table. Out with some ink sacks. And a gray banner. Light gray, dark gray, uh, whatever. I'm just going to do dark gray. I did light gray for these. But uh, this is the German sign that I've used in a few different tutorials. All you're going to do is take your gray banner in the corner here and make this pattern. And you get your banner that you can put on the tail. And it also goes on the fuselage. And then I see the problem here that I did was that lever on the top and fence like that with open there you are there's that gun and that is basically this build finished oh man so I hope you guys did thoroughly enjoy because that definitely took a lot of time to design and a lot of time to make this tutorial I will uh, see you guys in the next video I guess uh, please leave a like if you did enjoy and consider subscribing if you're new to my content this has been Zaniac9611, and I will see you guys in the next video. Zaniac out.